Hello, and how is it going, everyone? Uh, in a recent email, Tesla announced that they would bump up the cost of supercharging. So let's go ahead and check out whether uh, that's a thing or not. So over here, we can go ahead and tap on the close the supercharger. And we definitely see that they went from uh, 52 cents per kilowatt hour to 66 cents. That is a very unfortunate event. Uh, that's gonna cost more than double what we pay over here. Well, three times what we pay over here, exactly three times. So until further know this, we're gonna continue charging from home. That's very unfortunate, but I guess to be expected since the cost of electricity is going to go up and up and up. Well, it's still cheaper though. Like people are saying that, well, what's the point then? I mean, uh, at, at 66 cents per kilowatt hour, that's still about 11 cents per kilometer, uh, more or less, uh, which is way less than what a car usually, uh, like a nice car usually uh, spends per kilometer plus or minus uh, the maintenance fees and uh, everything that's associated with an ICE vehicle. And uh, and then most of the people don't actually supercharge unless they really have to. And, and that's what, I mean, everyone does. Uh, they they kind of plug in at home and, uh, and that's it. In the morning, they start their day with a 90% charge or something along those lines and um, and they're gonna go about uh, their day without having to worry about supercharging because they have a range of what is it 517 kilometers and I bet you won't be traveling that long uh, in a day uh, and if you are and you have to stop at a supercharger well okay you'll spend 20 bucks and be on your way um, all right, so that's it from me for today. Um, like and subscribe if you uh, enjoy this kind of content. And otherwise, see you next time. Bye-bye.